Good morning. So welcome to day 10 of the Surprised by the God of Hope series. So today we are focusing on the chapter that was entitled Easter Witness and it's based on John 20 verses 1 to 18. So Tom Wright in this section is leading us really to think about the third day of Easter um, and the part of the Easter story that actually is rather difficult to get your head around. And having taught this part of the story quite a few times within my job, I would agree with Tom that it is a section of the story that is just surrounded by so much confusion and misconception. And that it's muddled up so much in the minds of children with Easter bunnies and Easter eggs. And with adults, as it has been in the Bible, it's been kind of rushed over and, and just told in such a quick and short way that actually it's because we don't truly understand or comprehend what we're reading or hearing. So this part of the story, as shown in John 20, is really about believing and trusting in what you can't see or haven't witnessed yourself. It requires us to understand how eyewitness accounts can change, not because they're untrue, but because sometimes the hardest things to explain do come out wrong when retold, when you try to fill in the blanks as best you can. So this story has changed a lot from person to person, and throughout the Bible the accounts are different from person to person. And that then has affected the ability of people to trust that story and to believe that story when it's told so differently each time. So Tom Wright talks about how the changing of the story, even within the few accounts that are present in the Bible, can easily lead people to believe that it was made up and that it was just made up to justify the continuation of Christian faith. But the fact that it was probably just so hard to explain and such an extraordinary thing that it just couldn't be explained by any one person clearly and that's why it changed from person to person. So Ed Saunders, an American scholar, said, the stories are the sort of things which look as though they're trying very hard to tell us something which they know has happened but for which they know they don't have very good language to tell. And I kind of felt that that was really true in that in essence what happened was just so extraordinary that it was just too hard to put into words that those who witnessed it each did the best that they could with the language that was available to them to explain it and that's why it became changed and why it became different from one account to another because they were just using what they could to explain something that was just beyond words. So Tom Wright speaks then of how this third day of Easter is considered the anchor of Christian hope in his opinion in that it provides this link of a way for us to imagine reaching a better world here on earth. So despite how broken the world may seem and how terrible things may be, it provided that link then between what God had promised of our world and what we knew our world could become and where we actually were. And it provided that link then, that beginning of hope of how we could see a way to get to where we want the world to be. So in this way then, Tom recognised that resurrection is not necessarily a physical possibility. He, he talks about within the course that actually it, it wasn't possible, the, you know, the chances of there being a physical resurrection were impossible, but maybe it's more of a spiritual one. Um, that that resurrection then is a way to give us, a way to right our wrongs, a way to change the world and to make a better version of ourselves during our time here on the earth. So in John 20 verse 14, it says that Mary saw Jesus standing there, but she didn't know it was Jesus. So when reading this part, it made me think really that the fact that Mary at first didn't recognise Jesus could be because this resurrection is, as Tom Wright suggests, more of a spiritual rather than a physical. So the Jesus that she saw was not the physical Jesus that she had, you know, been spending her time with, the physical Jesus that she remembered and recognised, but it was more of a spiritual resurrection. She knew then that it was Jesus through talking to him, through, through that side of things, but not through the physical. Um, it adds then to why it was so difficult to explain why the story seems to change from person to person. If it wasn't a physical resurrection, if there wasn't physically that resurrection, that that's why it became so impossible to explain and why it's still so impossible to explain. So there clearly then is a lot more for us to explore and to understand around resurrection. And Tom Wright has talked about all the different forms, particularly within the pagan religion, of all the different forms of, of what happens after death, of what's believed to happen. And resurrection is one that was kind of not talked about and, and kind of glossed over. So I think that there's really a lot more to explore and to discuss. And, and that is something that he goes on to talk more about within um, Surprised by the God of Hope. 
and hopefully then this is something that will probably follow in more of our blogs then um, I know that the next few are focusing on resurrection so it's something that I'm sure will be explored further as well so thank you for joining us and I hope that you have a great day